Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that is going to do a kid red with me today that I am as normal, not really sure how this will go. I am going to use the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos today, try, and I'm planning on doing a halo eye with like this row, not all the colors, but some of the colors in this middle row, so I am going to write down in the description which colors I'm using, maybe I talk about them, I have no idea. And I don't know about the angle, if it seems like I'm like slouching, is slouching even a word, but I just want to sit comfortable, and this I guess is the most comfortable that I can sit. But okay, the thing that I have planned to talk about today, that I'm going to try to do, it is like making new friends when you are an adult. Or maybe I should say when you are no longer in school. If we take a little backstory to this, I have, when I was little, like from age 7 to 10, I didn't have a lot of friends. I, I had a few, but... Uh, Yeah, it wasn't a good time in my life. I did come home from school crying some days. Um, yeah. After that, I started to make friends and we were often like, I had some best friends and we were like a couple of girls that uh, was hanging out together a lot. And it was like that until I graduated like in Sweden you I think if, if it is like a mix up with high school and college but it's not college but it's you're older in high school in Sweden you normally go to school until you are 18 or 19 it depends on when your birthday is but the year that you turn 19 you do gradu graduate from school and then you can study after that if you want to and up till then i did hang out with friends i we were like in a group and um, we did go to parties and stuff like that but then i've noticed when you're getting older i think it's so much harder to make new friends i have never been like i do want like 500 friends i have never been like that i'm more like to have a few close friends than a lot of just friends and i did move to the city i live in now when i was 21 i did move to my boyfriend or was it 22 no i think i was 21 yeah 21 and then i started to go to school i did study on yeah i guess university uh, a couple of courses and i made some friends there but like nothing that did <laughs> stick on and now you may be wondering where is she going with all of this i don't know if we're going to go some anywhere but maybe Maybe somewhere. And I did make some friends there, but it was like nothing that lasted. And then I think, or I have had some really tough times to make friends. And I do really miss to have a really close friend that live nearby. Um, <laughs> I have though, I think... I don't know if it's me or if I just have had bad luck, but I've had some friends in this town that I live in now that um, has moved away from here. And we are still friends. I have a lot, not a lot, but I have friends that live in other towns that I am and that live like a couple of hours away 
So I still like, I have close friends, but they don't live here. And I do really miss to have like a best friend that lives really close. But I think it's so hard to get to know people. I have some really good friends that I have met through work and that I do talk about a lot. Like about my personal things and also I have one that I did work with before and she quit. And we still keep in contact and I see her as a close friend. But if I'm not meeting people at work, I have a really hard time to get to know new people. And I don't know if it is like me. Um, and Okay, maybe in Sweden. <laughs> I know that we have a different way of being to strangers than some other countries and some other like culture. But the thing is in Sweden, if you talk with a stranger, you are a crazy person. Like we Swedes don't even want to say hello to people that we do know when we meet them outside sometimes. And you do never, never ever go up to a stranger and talk to them. That is just not a thing you do in Sweden. Like, you don't do that. Then you are a crazy pants. And <laughs> I think it might can have something to do with that. That it's hard to make friends. But also, like, the few friends that I have met outside of work. Here in the town I live with. I think it's hard to, like, keep up with the friendship. Sometimes it feels like it's like dating somebody, like you need to get in touch and you need to make a sound <laughs> and like you need to really get things going. I love when a friendship comes to that stage when I have friends that I did go to school with that we can't like, we can like not be seeing each other for like four years and then I meet them and it is like we just hang out yesterday. I love when friendship gets to that point and I have gotten friends like here on YouTube um, that I have never met and also I've gotten friends here on YouTube that I have met in real life. But I just think it's so hard to really like get to know people and I have always seen myself as shy. But now the latest I've started to think about maybe I'm not shy, maybe I'm just like super introvert. And that is the thing that annoys me that people are like, yeah, because you are shy, no, because you you don't talk to strangers and you don't do small talk, you are shy, but in reality you are just uh, an introvert. All I wanted to come to is that I think it's hard to get new friends when you are an adult and you're not seeing people. Like when you are in school I thought it was so much easier because then you see each other every day. And or like five days a week and you are forced to sh see each other but when you are older and you're meeting somebody that is not in the same work as you for example you like really need to make it happen yourself and I do struggle with that because I am one thing I do that I don't like about myself is I am so bad at answering like messages. I, if I'm doing something and I got a text, I'm like, I'm going to answer that later. And then it goes by four days. And then it feels so stupid to answer the text four days later. <laughs> four days, that was. <laughs> Some days it can take four weeks. I'm just so bad at answering things. 
I don't know why I think I should have like I should know myself that much that I know that I need to answer right away because it's never going to happen but that is a thing about me that I don't uh, I'm not proud of it and I hate it but like it's like I can't stop like or I can't start maybe we should say I, I can't start like answering messages right away I don't know why and it's not that I don't want to answer, it's just like, I don't, and I don't know why. And I guess that is not making things easier if you want to make new friends, to not responding to things. I know that. And okay, do you know what? This is such a confusing get rid with me as always. And yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired today, it's Sunday today. And yesterday we were at a friend's house eating some dinner. So today, um, me and my boyfriend, we are going to make some homemade pizza. And then we are going to watch some X-Files. And just do what we do best. Which is nothing. And that is also like... I know that I've talked about this before and uh, I know that some people might think it sounds stupid and some people do feel the same as me but like my boyfriend I think he is my best friend he is the one that I can tell everything and I know like he's <laughs> not going to judge me and like he knows the most about me I'm guessing and I do think it should be like that I think it's so strange because sometimes when I say that my boyfriend is my best friend people are like feeling sorry for me but I think that is like the good thing I think it should be that in a relationship I don't know about this look. Do I like it or not? I don't know why things is getting so purple right now. I have no idea. I do like purple, but like, do I like purple this much that I should do it all always and forever? Maybe, maybe not. It feels like I have glitter specks all over my face now again. Okay, am I super happy about this look? No, I'm not. Am I going to have it like this? I guess. <sighs> I know I have so much fallout. I have nothing more to talk about. I'm pretty sure about that. And it feels like a normal confusing get rid with me where I talk about nothing for like 15 minutes. But okay, <laughs> I am going to take away the fallouts, fix my base. I'm going to try a new product today. Um, this one, this is liquid highlighter or liquid everything from LH Cosmetics. It's their Shaping Light Multi-Use Highlighter. Um, you can use it as a highlighter primer or mix foundation for illuminating finish. I'm going to use this as a highlighter, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm going to, oh, I have specs everywhere, I'm going to put this on off cam. I'm not really sure what I want to use for base today, I don't know, we will see. Um, I will fix everything and then I'll come back. The finished look and I do like it for my face, I did use my contour stick from Isadora, my two reasons, I'm very nude from novel and I just did use this one and as an highlighter I did use this one and I do like it I didn't take that much but it gives a little bit of a sheen which I like for my watch line I did use the Emma Fist Hour from Colourpop and on my lips I took this Majestic Majestic and Melamore from LH Cosmetics and I do like this look I did pop uh, from the Alchemist palette from KVD, this ultraviolet amethyst in my inner corners, and 
Yeah, I do really like this look. It has been such a long time since I did play with this palette. Ended up using You Are My Only Hope, Nauru and Cyclone. And I do like it. I... This is still as good as it has ever been. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and it's still us. So yeah, that was all for this video, this Get Red With Me. And I don't know if <laughs> there is a lot of you that feels the same way as me about like that it's harder to get friends when you're older and maybe when you are not in school and when you're not like forced to be around people all day um, I just think it's a little bit harder like when you're a grown-up I am not though a person that really needs somebody I do like to be on my own but I also like to have friends not too many though and it feels like hard because I it feels like you are dating but you are dating for a friend and not a partner. I don't know if that is a good explanation, but if you feel the same way as me, if you do have any tips either to me or anybody else that struggle, please leave them down in the comments and maybe we can help each other. And yeah, I guess that, that was all for this video. I do hope that you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.